Hello, welcome to the short video about the new Lavazza Classy Compact. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you quickly through all the features this machine has and show you how to make fantastic Italian espresso right here in the workplace. So let's get started. First of all, the machine's already been plugged in, so to power it on, we just press the power button here and that will illuminate the three cup buttons on the top there. Now, if this is being turned on first thing in the morning, the machine will be cold. Uh, these buttons will flash while the boiler is heating up, but it just takes about 10, 15 seconds or so, so not long to wait at all. Now we need to fill the water up at the back. The tank just clips off, can be filled up, replaced, and clipped back on again. Nice and simple. So we're going to start off on the far left hand side. This small button here will pour a traditional Italian style espresso, so around about 25 ml. So let's get some coffee. Now a nice little feature of this, we're going to raise this cup tray so the coffee doesn't splash inside the cup. So we just slide the slider along and it lifts it up. Nice little feature. Now the cup can be placed underneath without getting any coffee spills over the counter. We're going to take our single espresso capsule, we're going to lift the lever at the back, insert the capsule, turn the lever to its starting position, and then press the espresso button. And so here we have a nice freshly brewed espresso. Okay, so the next button along in the center is uh, a slightly taller shot, more of a Lungo, uh, UK size, so around 45 ml. So let's make one of those. Same as before, coffee cup and coffee capsule. Cup underneath, in the raised position is always preferable. Capsule, and you can hear that noise there. That's the previous capsule ejecting down inside the machine. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on. So for now, capsule is replaced, inserted, and then the Lungo button is pressed. And there we have one Lungo. Okay, so the final button we're looking at here is the one on the far right as you look at the dial. Now this is a free dose button, basically allowing you, the user, to pour as little or as much water through your espresso capsule as you like, giving you ultimate control. Here, I like to use it as a cafe creme button. Now, this is where you pour about five ounces of water through a double espresso capsule, giving you a slightly taller cup. So let's see how that works. So I'm gonna use uh, an Italian style cappuccino cup. This is about five, five and a half ounces big. This can sit underneath. I'm gonna use the double capsule because it's got the number two on it. Insert the capsule just like before. Close and we're gonna press the free dose button. Now remember, this is a free dose button, so you will need to stop this button yourself. If you allow uh, more than about five ounces or so of water to run through, you get some quite dark, bitter, astringent flavors. So this is the reason why I like to leave it uh, about this size all the time. Okay, so there are just a couple of extra features to take you through. Now, you've noticed that when we lift the lever, the previous capsule is ejected inside the machine. And when that container gets full, it will need to be emptied. But there is a light that tells you when that happens. And so this little red warning light comes on up here like this. When you see that, simply slide out the drip tray. This section here just gets removed so you can be emptied, replaced, and the whole thing slides back in and the light will go out. So during the day-to-day -day operating of the machine, you will get a little bit of runoff uh, after each coffee. Now that will fill up the drip tray. So after a while, when this little red float pops its head above the level of the drip tray, then it needs to be emptied. So just like before, slide it out, take it to a sink, empty it out, maybe give it a little bit of a rinse and replace as before. Lastly, on the display here, you've got a little warning light. Uh, when that comes on, it's showing that the reservoir either isn't connected properly or it's run out of water, so it just needs to be refilled and replaced. And when it has done, the light goes out and you're ready to go again.